emerging technologies enable any connected entity, such as a person, device, organization, or data set, to communicate and autonomously participate as an independent economic agent in transactions. These transactions must be supported by a new type of digital identifier, one which is machine-readable, self-sovereign, and uses blockchain as a trust anchor to link such entities to relevant attributes, characteristics, and capabilities. These new digital identifiers are known as Decentralized Identifiers, or DIDs. They allow entities to transact seamlessly within decentralized ecosystems by serving as traceable, tamper-evident, and unique sources of verifiable data about the entities. Think of a DID as a globally unique identifier. Rather than having to manage several distinct forms of identification, entities can enjoy secure, hassle-free transactions with any number of ecosystem participants while having control over their own data. DIDs give individuals and organizations the power to own and control their digital identities breaking the reliance on third-party authenticators and centralized authorities. In a decentralized system, DIDs are embedded in verifiable credentials, or VCs. VCs may be created by any entity in the decentralized ecosystem and issued to a holder of the VC. If we think of the DID as a global ID, then VCs are like digital passports or unique stamps, which serve to attest to specific information about an entity associated with a specific DID. During decentralized transactions, a VC holder presents their VC to another entity, the verifier within the ecosystem. The verifier can independently, without a centralized authority, verify the data in the VC as presented by the holder. In addition, the verifier can also cryptographically check if the VC is connected with the issuer and the holder. So how do DIDs work in the real world? Say, for example, that you want to rent a car from a rental company, Rental Co. First, you must present your DID to the Government Registration Authority, or GRA, to obtain a VC, which attests to the fact that you are the owner of a valid driver's license. The VC includes your DID along with a cryptographic signature of the GRA. You present the VC to Rental Co. and disclose only the information it needs to check the VC against a trust anchor ledger to verify that the GRA in fact issued the VC and that it has not been modified or revoked. Once Rental Co. verifies the VC, then you can move forward with the rental process. DIDs and VCs provide a shared foundation of trust between you as the holder, the GRA as the issuer, and Rental Co. as the verifier, with blockchain as the necessary decentralized trust anchor to maintain the relationships between cryptographic keys, DIDs, and the status of VCs. Since the entire exchange is recorded, all three parties enter into a tamper-evident timestamp transaction in which they mutually establish and verify shared set of truths. This is just one example. The same principle can be applied to just about any kind of decentralized transaction, which requires selective disclosure of information about and between the entities without needing third-party authenticators. Other examples include tracking and tracing assets, royalty payments, loan applications, and many more. A standards-based decentralized identity system will enhance data privacy by giving people and organizations greater control over their data and promote a higher degree of trust between decentralized ecosystem participants. Along with building Setopia, a decentralized platform to onboard users' DIDs and enable VC issuance for business automation, Mobi has created its own federated network called MobiNet to provide trusted identity services. Together with other consortia, MobiNet will evolve into the Integrated Trust Network, or ITN. Combining DIDs with VCs in a federated ecosystem will allow participants to perform an endless array of automated trusted transactions, enable the development of more interoperable applications, and unlock efficient and sustainable business processes across every industry imaginable.